So let us look at this forensic topic anthropometry. Okay, anthropometry is uh, also called as Bertillon's system of identification, guys. What is it called as? It's also called as Bertillon's system of identification. Let's just make notes also. This one, it is also called as Bertillon's Bertillon's system of identification okay it is a system of recording of physical description detail of physical description portrait parley including precise body measurements of a subject as a data for identification of subject so basically you are recording <coughs> details of physical description okay including precise body measurements including precise body measurements for what for identification of the subject <clears throat> this was introduced by a french police officer alfonso bertillon that's why bertillon okay in 1883 a french police officer and expert alfonso Bertillon introduced this. Okay, it is applicable only for people about 21 years. This is what you have to understand. Very important here. This will be a limitation about 21 years. Okay. <clears throat> so, what and all will they measure? Some data to be recorded. Specific data they are telling here. Data of hair, eyes, complexion, shape of nose, ears, chin, color of left iris, all these. So, first let us talk about the Uh, let's talk about the face. Face, what and all you will check for hair. The data about the hair, the eyes, the complexion, that means the color, let's say. The shape of the nose, the ears, the chin, the color of the left iris. So everything about it, okay, just say eyes, nose, ears, complexion, chin. Then specifically he's telling color of left iris in the face, okay. Then coming to body marks. Body marks like any moles, if there are any moles, you will note them. And then you will see any scars are there, some tattoos are there, all that you will note. Then some 11 bodily measurements. There are 11 bodily measurements that you have to take. So look at the 11 measurements that you have to take. The height, okay, so you will measure the height of the person. The height of the person we will measure. Then what else you will measure? Length of body from left shoulder to right Middle finger when arm is raised and stretched. So they are saying you raise this arm and stretch it. Something like that they are saying. We will have to draw that. Hold on. So let's say this arm is stretched. Okay. So from the left shoulder to right middle finger you should take the measurement when the arm is stretched okay this is the second measurement they are mentioning here they are saying when the arm is raised raised is what up is it so i think this will be wrong they are saying when the arm is raised is it like this i am not sure but anyways they are saying from the left shoulder shoulder to the right middle finger when the arm is raised then, length of torso from head to seat taken when seated. Okay, when he is seated, you will take his length from torso from head to seat. So, if he is sitting, then from here to here. Okay, then, <clears throat> length of head from crown to forehead. So, from crown to forehead, that is just this much I think, right? What do you see? Crown to forehead. The crown to the forehead. Okay. Then, width of head from temple to temple. So, from temple to temple, width of head. Okay. Then, length of the right ear. They seem to be interested in the length of the right ear. Give me some nice color here. Length of the right ear, please. Length of the right ear. Length of the left foot. Then, length of the left middle finger, length of the left middle finger, length of the left little finger, 
length of the left little finger length of the left cubit from elbow to tip of middle finger from elbow to tip of middle finger left only they are talking okay so this length also they are interested in then width of cheek width of cheek they are interested in okay so let us see if we got 11 here just check if we got 11 the height left shoulder to the <clears throat> right middle finger when arm is raised to the third one we will say that uh, from the crown when he is seated you will take from the crown to the seat the torso from head to seat is taken this is the third one so three major there are over then you have uh, what is this from crown to forehead between the temples between uh, the cheeks then the right ear length from uh, cubit that is elbow to left middle finger left middle finger length little finger of the left length left foot length okay so how many we got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 okay 11 we got color of iris we have marked color of iris and other things are there like mole scars tattoo complexion hair eyes shape of nose ears chin etc photographs of front and right profile views of head and face so you want only photographs of the front view and the right profile view two photographs you should take front view and a right profile view you should take two photographs are also required what am i drawing okay so two photographs are required in anthropometry okay what are the disadvantage of this procedure <clears throat> so the disadvantage of this procedure let us look at so you know it is applied only for people about 21 years because after that the body measurements don't vary much but before this age uh, body measurements vary a lot there is subjective error because there is inaccuracy in measurement and uh, it's a subjective error. You never know torso, cheeks, where it starts, where it ends. Photographs are always not reliable, right? There can be chance of error. So you need trained operators, instruments, proper instruments for measuring all this. All these standard things you write for anthropometry. Remember this diagram to draw, write anthropometry 11 points. Okay. Bye-bye.